So I'm Geeta Misra, and I'm the executive director of an organization called CREA. We are a global South organization that is committed to building feminist leadership, advancing women's human rights, and expanding sexual and reproductive freedoms. So as an NGO, we obviously fundraise, and I have had a lot of experience fundraising because the organization is nearly nine years old, and I've also been a donor at the Ford Foundation before, so have been on both sides. And so I prepared a very, uh, what I thought was a provocative um, presentation for my session today on fundraising and philanthropy. And I think in terms of being in the rooms and talking to the people at the seminar, I've changed everything. I got up this morning and I said, I have to change everything because it needs to be even more provocative and it needs to be even more cutting edge so that people can go away with three things, some new ideas, some new questions, and some new challenges. So the three cutting things I want to say is that we as, a non, as NGOs need to push ourselves to think out of the box and to think in creative, creative ways of fundraising where maybe we go into partnerships, we embed our work in the larger economic structures in the world, uh, so, you know, for us to think of mergers and acquisitions, maybe working more with the corporate sector, so that's one. The second cutting edge thing I think based on the conversations I've had is about donor accountability. Can we create a donor watch and we watch what they're doing and question them about their outcome driven approaches on issues that have so much to do with our mindsets? <laughs> and our judgments about people. Because in the field of sexuality, gender, and human rights, what you think and how you think about other people is fundamental to the work that you do. And it's not about counting the trees or the pandas. And I'm not against numbers, but I do think we can develop more, you know, donor accountability systems that are mutually benefiting to us and to them. So the third thing is, how do we also provide good examples or NGO examples where we have benefited from what we've called the bronze era in this seminar, where some organizations have gone from getting a lot of core support to getting project support but haven't collapsed. Um, they are getting more money. How we are getting more creative about pitching our work within the context of donor priorities without compromising the core of the work that we do? And how do we share those examples with other NGOs that work on LGBT rights more? 